everybody, what's up? Welcome to Juice Top Garage. Today we're gonna look at this exhaust clamp I found on the road. Don't even look at that. So, um, what we're working on today is absolutely nothing, um, really. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas, I know it's late, and Happy New Year, and this has been crazy because I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt right now. So, we're getting all the equipment out of the shop today because I need my shop back. We're taking that tractor out, I got pulled up the tire. So I gotta turn on the air compressor. Gotta take that tractor out. We're taking the rat rod out. Now it feels a little cold with the wind, but uh, once we got here in the sun, oh yeah, feels good. So uh, we're gonna pull the rat rod out. We're gonna take the sears out, let it sit out here for a little bit, warm up in the sun, let it get a little sun bath. Take the Kawasaki out, let it get a little bit of sun bath. And the Ingersoll is gonna be getting a long sun bath. So we're gonna start out by moving this out of my way. Now, normally, I push the stuff, but when it comes to an ATV, you don't push one. Actually, I don't really need the gas valve to off. So, let's see if she'll start. Now, I do have to keep revving up a little bit because I have a carburetor issue and this won't run on its own. Uh, we've tried fixing it a couple times, and I fixed it once, and it's just no way to adjust the carburetor anymore. So, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to get another carburetor kit on this. So, me and Paul are going to do that later on. But for now, she runs. Alright, let's get that out of the way. Set y'all right there, looking up at me. Wow, two minutes already? We ain't even been on YouTube that long. Alright, so. Okay. Take the park brake off. Yep, surprisingly, I actually have working brakes on this thing. Uh, let me see. Dag damn it, I got working brakes. That takes all the fun stuff out of it. People will know how to ruin things, don't they? Put brakes on something. That was probably the dumbest thing I ever did to this, was put brakes on it. Why have brakes? That's what a fence is for. Well, folks, I was planning on some snow, but it don't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. So I may end up taking the snow plow off. For a little while. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I know what's going to happen. Yep. Dead battery. Yep. Got to charge this one up. So, now the air compressor is still interrupting me. Um, which, by the way, I threatened to unplug it from its power source. So, it's being a good little air compressor. Plus, I turned it off. So, this is the starter solenoid. That I gotta replace. $100 for that stupid little piece because it connected to the starter, so I gotta get, from what I remember, I gotta get the starter with it. So, pop this. Oh, how nice of you to pop off. There it was, a rubber cap on here, but it hardened up, and I, let's just say I broke it. I'm not gonna go into detail how I broke it. But I'm pushing this. How heavy it be, is it? Uh, oh. Better move this out of my way first. Did not wanna roll over that. Especially not if it's going to dump on the floor. So just roll this up and out. Now this tractor is definitely going to be running hopefully next year. Because I'm planning on getting it fixed. Because I love this thing because it's got power steering. At the moment I hate this thing because it needs another part. Actually not really another. So we'll park it right here so it's going to get a flat here. But the way we have it parked up here on the hill... This tire is not going to have as much weight on it. It'll still go flat, but it, um, let alone take longer, it's not going to be as bad because it's not going to have all the weight. Now this here, I probably ought to put this back together. Yeah. Yeah, I probably ought to put this back together just so I don't get this all wet. Because you probably don't want to get wet. But... Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I have not done a video in a while. I know it's been like two, three weeks. Well, it's probably longer than that. It's just been really, really busy right now. We had a lot of things to get done. And with holidays, now I know New Year's right around the bend. But, you know, especially mainly Christmas, getting all ready and everything. And, you know, I just got out of school for two weeks, which I'm still on that vacation, by the way. I'm uh, just decided I'd take a little break from doing videos and relax two things i'm going to show you all the one um it's not going to be a whole lot of videos probably a couple of video, well, one video telling you all about it and everything and doing like a may review 
and then there'll probably be videos the rest of the years until it burns out of using it every once in a while because in my profession not that actually not really profession but um in my world i'm going to be using this a lot because of what i do and what i collect garden tractors trust me it's gonna save money um and the other thing i'm going to show you all is probably going to be more than one video definitely because there's all sorts of things that this machine can do it's not a real high class high dollar machine uh you know it's not up in the thousands of dollars not even thousands not even up in the 500 dollar range it's below all that but um it's a little machine that can do a lot of different things and maybe y'all can drop down the comments below what you think it is i'll show it to y'all later on this week or maybe next week i might show it to you this week had to see but um we're going to be doing some tutorial videos with that um how to use it and stuff like that so that'll be coming out but yeah, the Ingersoll's going to stay out here for a little while and sunbathe like it used to before I got it. And it's going to sunbathe again now that I got it because it broke again. The rat rod, well, we're going to take that for a spin later. Well, actually, I am. I was going to show you all, but the battery's dead on the GoPro. And ATV, well, it's going to stay out here and get sunbathed a little bit, keep it warmed up. And the Sears, if it ever starts, I'm probably going to put it out of the shop and I may take the snow blade off. Being I'm not looking at the snow right now. And see, one thing, um, people don't understand this. Don't share my secret, but you know how you want snow for Christmas? Remember this for next year, and you can do this now if you want snow still. Don't tell anybody, but the secret to it is if you have a garden tractor snow blade, a truck with a snow blade, or some snow shovels, take the snow blades off the trucks and garden tractors, lawnmowers, whatever, take them off, put them somewhere, and then put your equipment up like it usually is but put the snow blades away you know out in the grass in the field or whatever like you usually do and your snow shovels pack those all up give it a about a uh, couple days to a week and uh, you'll probably get snow and then you gotta go out in the snow and get all that stuff back you're gonna be freezing but at least you got your snow thanks for watching please come back and watch more please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell button located next to the subscribe button leave me a like um, which is thumbs up, or you can leave me a thumbs down if you don't like the video. And, uh, let me see. Share this video with friends and family, and I'll see you next week. Uh, actually this week if we do that one video with the tutorial. Well, actually, I'm just going to do the first video, which is just showing it to you. But uh, it's going to open up another playlist on the YouTube channel, probably. So, yes, thanks for watching. See you next time on Jay's Hilltop Garage.